Hello, children. I am Lily, your reader. I am here to recite a story. Watch out for some funny animals and their tricks. I will ask you questions at the end of the story. While I read, watch out for these characters. Rabbit, kite, tree, and a monkey. So come on, get ready. One day, a little rabbit was flying a kite. Suddenly, there was a strong wind blowing hard. The wind carried the kite away and stuck in a tree. The rabbit started crying. A monkey who was hanging in a nearby tree saw the whole scene. The monkey climbed up the tree and took the kite. The monkey came down the tree and gave the kite to the rabbit. The rabbit thanked the monkey. Dear children, what I learned from the story is, when somebody needs our help, we should go and help them like the little monkey in the story. Will you all be like the little monkey? I hope so. If you help anyone during their trouble, please share that story and send to us in the comment box. We will publish yours with your credit. Give thumbs up for the video and share with your friends. Thank you. See you soon. Dear children, I am Lily, your little reader. Do you want to know the story of a rabbit and an ant? I know you are very curious. Stay quiet and calm and listen to this wonderful story. The characters of this story are rabbit, ant, and a lion. Watch out for them when we read the story. Once there lived a rabbit. The rabbit was very proud of himself. One day the rabbit met an ant. He proudly said, You are so small and you are good for nothing. Just then a lion came that way. He saw the rabbit and said, I'm going to eat you. The rabbit started to tremble. The ant saw this and bit the lion's leg. The lion ran away, shrieking in pain. Rabbit felt so silly in front of the ant. The rabbit understood that it is foolish to judge others solely by their appearance. The rabbit thanked the ant and they became good friends. Can I ask you a question? Is it okay to tease others? Wow, <laughs> I hear a big no. So what should you do when somebody teases you? I know it is very hard, but ignore them when they tease you. They will become your best friends soon. Why don't you write a story to us with the characters from this story? And ask your parents to add the story in the comment section. Let the best story begin! Subscribe to our channel for more cool videos and share it with your friends. Little children, I am Lily, your super reader. What is coming to your mind when you think of a frog? For me, I remember the rainy days when they croak in a loud voice. Aha! They don't let us sleep with their big croak! Do you want to listen to this friendly frog story? The characters in this story are rabbit, squirrel, ball, and a frog. Here it goes! Once a rabbit and a squirrel were playing with the ball near a pond. Suddenly their ball fell into the pond. Both rabbit and squirrel became sad and sat near the pond. A frog saw the friends and asked, What happened? The rabbit said, Our ball fell in the pond and we don't know how to swim, so we are sad. At once, the frog jumped into the pond and returned with the ball. Rabbit and Squirrel thanked the frog and asked him to play with them. 
The three had a super good time. Come on, little bunnies. How many characters are there in this story? Yes, I heard it right. Four. They are rabbit, squirrel, ball, and frog. Can you find out the ending letters of the characters from this story? I can help you find it. Rabbit ends with the letter T. Squirrel and ball end with the letter L. Frog ends with the letter G. Can you make a story with the characters derived from the ending letters of this story? Please write to us with your story in the comment box. If you like this story, give thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Hi children, I am Lily, your kind reader. Who do you think the cat likes the most? Yes, you guessed it right, the mouse. Sharpen your listening ears as we are embarking on a lovely journey with a story of mouse. Look for the animal friends mouse and a lion. Are you ready? Once a mouse was walking through the forest. Just then, a lion came toward the mouse and shouted rudely, Move aside, you little mouse. The little mouse walked away sadly. A few hours later, the mouse heard a huge roar from inside the forest. The little mouse came to know that Lion was caught by the hunters. The little mouse thought of a plan. The mouse called his friends and sneaked up to the lion where he was trapped. The little mouse and his friends nibbled the huge rope and set him free. The lion was so relieved. The lion felt sorry and thanked the little mouse. They both became good friends. My lovely children, have you ever planned a birthday surprise for a friend or a family member? Did you enjoy drafting the plan like the little mouse did in this story? How did you execute it? Can you share your experience, little champs? We would love to read yours. Please post your story in the comment box. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos. Hi, honeybees. I am Lily, your sweet reader. Do you know two helpful farm animals? Okay, I understand I have to give you clues. One farm animal gives you milk, and the other helps in carrying loads. Now did you guess? Yes! They are the cow and the donkey. Do you want to listen to a story which has these two farm animals? I am sure you will love this. The characters to look for in this story are donkey, cow, and a wolf. One day, a donkey and a cow were grazing around a land near to the forest. Donkey walked straight into the forest. A wolf came on the way and said, Hello, friend. Come with me. I know a place full of sweet grass. The cow was watching this conversation and got angry. He knew that wolf was trying to trick the donkey. The cow ran and butted the wolf with her horns. You cunning wolf! How dare you try to trick my friend! shouted the cow. The wolf got scared and ran away. Donkey thanked the cow for saving his life. Did you hear the story? I know you love listening to it. Do you love to play a trick with someone? We can play tricks with others as long as it doesn't hurt them. When was the last time you played a trick with your friend? Can you write to us about that experience as a story and send it to us? We love to read your story. If you like this story, give thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos.
Hi, little critters. I am Lily, your favorite reader. Do you know the smartest bird in town? Hmm, if you asked me... Hmm... I would say... Crow. Because this bird gets up very early in the morning, and whenever I offer him food, he calls all his friends to eat along with him. Do you agree with me now? Yes, you are going to listen to a story of Helpful Crow. The main characters are Peacock, Fox, and a crow. One day, a peacock was wandering in the forest in the mood to make some new friends. On the way, a crow asked the peacock to be her friend. No, you are not as beautiful as me, said the peacock rudely. Further on, peacock met a fox and thought, He looks handsome. The fox should be my friend. Not knowing the danger, the peacock walked toward the fox. The cunning fox caught the peacock. I am going to eat you, growled the fox. Peacock cried in a loud tone. The crow heard the cry of the peacock. The crow called his fellow friends for help, and they attacked the fox and freed the peacock. The peacock was very thankful to the crow, and they became good friends. What did you learn from the story? Everybody is important in this world. We should not look at anyone by their outside beauty and judge them. They may have the widest of knowledge that anybody has. Respect everyone and be friends with anyone who is good. I shared my learning from the story. Can you share your learning and write to us? We will share the best learning to our audience with your name. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos. Hey little children, I am Lily, your little reader. Do you know which animal loves honey? Can I give you a clue? He is black and he has thick fur all over his body. He climbs tall trees to fetch honey. He has long claws, sharp teeth, and lives in dense forest. Yay! You got it right! We are going to listen to a story about a bear and a cat. Stay tuned! The characters in this story are bear, cat, and a fish. One day, a bear and a cat were fishing in a pond. They had been fishing for a long time, but they didn't catch anything. I am fed up, Cat said impatiently. Wait, let's try for some more time, said the bear. But the cat didn't listen and walked away. The bear sat down calmly and continued fishing. Soon Bear caught a huge fish and the bear was very happy. I know that you get irritated sometimes too for not being able to write or read very soon. I'm giving you a tip. Whenever you feel irritated while doing reading or writing, move away from that place, play for a while, come back and do your work. It will work perfectly fine. You can finish your work at the right moment. Write to us about the most irritating moment of your life and how did you overcome it. The best tip or story will be shared among our audience with your credit. So don't forget to write us. If you like this story, give thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Dear children, I am Lily, your friendly reader. Do you all have a friend? I hope you all have one. What do you like to do with your friend? While you think, here is a story about friendship and how that helped a crane save his life. Keep your ears alive. The story is coming. The characters are Crane, Frog, 
and a tiger. Once there lived a crane and a frog in a beautiful pond. One day a tiger went to drink water from the pond. The tiger saw the crane standing on one leg in the pond with his eyes shut. Aha! This is a great opportunity to catch that crane, thought the tiger. The frog was watching this near the bush. The frog whispered to the crane, Friend, the tiger is going to catch you. Save yourself. The tiger leapt forward toward the crane, but the crane flew away in the nick of time, and the tiger fell into the pond. The crane thanked his friend Frog for his timely help. Did you understand the importance of good friendship? Do you have a friend who is very helpful to you all the time? Can you share the story of your friendship and how that helped you? Please share the story with us in the comment box. Give thumbs up for the video, share with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Hi cuties! I am Lily, your interesting reader. When you see a balloon vendor outside a shop, what do you ask your parents? Definitely to buy a balloon, am I right? After buying a blue or red balloon, do you share and play with your brother or sister or a friend? Here is a story about a blue balloon and the importance of sharing and playing. Listen and enjoy. The characters in this story are squirrel, monkey, tree, and a balloon. One day, a squirrel and a monkey were walking through a forest. Suddenly, they saw a balloon stuck in a tree. They both climbed the tree to get to the balloon. It's mine, said the squirrel. No, I saw it first. It's mine, said the monkey. Both were holding the balloon and started fighting over it. The balloon burst while they pulled it to each other. The squirrel and the monkey felt ashamed and thought, if we would have shared, we could have played with it. The squirrel and the monkey went walking home sad. Sharing is caring. If anyone in your class asks for an eraser or a sharpener for some time, we should be generous and share because sharing will bring more friendships into your life. How can the story be modified to reiterate the importance of sharing? Can you twist the story and write to us? We love to see the climax. Do subscribe to our channel for more awesome stories. Hi there, I am Lily, your awesome reader. Do you want to know the story of a monkey and a bird? I hope you haven't listened to any story with these two characters. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? Keep your earphones on as you listen to this enthralling story. The characters in this story are monkey, bird, and a tree. Once there lived a monkey in a forest. One day, the monkey was walking a long way through the forest and he saw a small bird. The small bird was crying. What happened, little one? asked the monkey. Pointing to a tall tree, the small bird said, I fell off from a nest way up there. The monkey picked up the small bird and climbed up on the tree. He put the little bird in his nest safely. The small bird thanked the monkey for his help. I believe this is the cutest story you have ever heard in your life. Imagine what would happen if the monkey didn't help the bird to get back to his nest. Put your thinking caps on and write your own story with the same characters for the beginning and you are free to add your own characters and let's see how it turns around. I am waiting for your story. Please send it when you finish, and do like the video, and share it with your friends. Hi, 
these cakes? I am Lily, your cheesy reader. Do you like it when I say that to you? I love cheesecakes. But wait, we are not going to read a story about cakes. Do you all love rabbits? I heard a big yes. We are going to listen to a story about a foolish rabbit. Wait, what did I just say now? Foolish? Let's see why he is called a foolish rabbit. The characters in this story are rabbit, bird, and a boat. One day, a rabbit and a bluebird were sailing in a small boat. The rabbit was so thrilled to be sailing. Rabbit started to run along the sides of the boat happily. Rabbit, sit still or else the boat will sink, said the bird. But Rabbit ignored his words. Suddenly, the rabbit saw a beautiful fish in the water. He tried to catch it with his bare hands. The boat tumbled over and the rabbit fell into the river. Rabbit felt sorry for his actions. Finally, the bluebird helped the rabbit to reach the shore safely. Now I understand why he is called a foolish rabbit. Yes, he didn't listen to the bird. That is not right. Sometimes when elders in our home tell us the right way to execute certain things, we should listen to them. Otherwise, we might also be termed as foolish rabbits. Do you all agree? Subscribe to our channel for more cool videos and share it with your friends. Darlings, I am Lily, your enjoyable reader. Which is the biggest land animal? Do any of you know? I heard a voice. What is that? Did I hear elephant? Yay, you are right. When you see an elephant walking in a street or forest, do you enjoy or do you feel scared? I enjoy watching an elephant. That is my favorite animal on the planet. Can we all listen to this wonderful story about two wonderful characters? Sit up and listen. The characters in this story are monkey and an elephant. A monkey and an elephant were friends in a forest. One day, while they were walking through the forest, they saw a big basket of fresh bananas. Wow, we are in luck. Come, let's eat them, said the monkey. Wait, be careful, friend. It might be a trap, said the elephant. But before she finished speaking, Monkey had run to grab the bananas. Suddenly, Monkey fell into a pit. Help, cried the monkey. The elephant stretched his trunk and pulled the monkey out. Monkey thanked the elephant. I see the elephant is very thoughtful. I believe we should all think like that elephant to not get in any trouble. What is your learning from the story? Can you write a story with two different animals on the same theme? Let's hear from you. If you like the video, give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more wonderful videos. I am Lily, your smart reader. We are going to listen to a story of a flying kitten. I see you jumping up there. I haven't seen a flying kitten yet. Have you seen one? Maybe we will see one after reading this story. Are you ready? Get set, go! The characters in this story are kitten and a sparrow. One day, a kitten saw a sparrow flying in the air. Hey, I want to fly too. Wish I had wings, thought the kitten. When the sparrow came down to munch on some rice flakes, the kitten asked the sparrow, Will you teach me how to fly? The sparrow replied, You can't fly without wings. 
But the kitten was so stubborn, he made a pair of wings with banana leaves and attached them to his shoulders. Then the kitten went and stood on the crest of a mountain and jumped downward. But his banana wings were torn. The kitten fell into the pond. The sparrow came and said, Kitten, you should think twice before you act. Did the kitten fly? That was so funny to use banana wings to fly. We should always be happy about what we have in life. If we try to live a life like others, we will fail like the little kitten. Have you ever thought about flying in the air? Seems unreal, doesn't it? But you can always fly in an airplane. Can you share your flying experience with us? We are waiting for your story. Share this video to your friends and ask your parents to subscribe to our channel for more videos. Dearies, I am Lily. You know this animal very well. He always comes in the fox and the crow story. I hope you guessed right. Yes, he is Mr. Fox. He is always very cool and doesn't care about others in the forest. Let's listen to one other story from his life. The characters in this story are Fox, Rabbit, and a Crocodile. Once there lived a fox who was very fond of telling lies. One day, while he was sitting near a riverbank, a thirsty rabbit came. The cunning fox thought of scaring away the rabbit. Hey rabbit, don't drink from the river. A big hungry crocodile is lying there, shouted the fox. The scared rabbit ran away hearing that news. A crocodile was watching all this from the corner of the river. He decided to teach the fox a lesson. After a while, the fox came to the river to drink some water. Just then, the crocodile sprang out of the river, right in front of the fox. The scared fox ran away with fear. The fox is always up to his pranks, but doing that continuously will end up in danger. Never tell lies at any moment in life. If you start telling a lie, one lie will lead to another and may end up in a bad result. Can you think of a story with these characters, using them in a different scenario? For example, instead of the rabbit's role, use the fox, and likewise. I am thrilled to see how the story can take a turn and give a different result. But what is the important lesson for us from this story? Never tell lies. Hope you like the story. Give thumbs up for the video and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Dear little ones, I am Lily, your brave reader. Do you like ants? They are so tiny! But the amount of weight they carry and the way they work is amazing! Have you noticed those that come into your house? A tiny morsel of food for us is a baggage for them. Listen to this wonderful story of a brave ant. The characters in this story are snake, tree, and an ant. Once there lived a snake in a big hole in a tree. The snake ate all the animals which lived near the tree. The snake was growing fatter every day. Snake felt proud and powerful. One day, the snake saw an ant. The snake asked the ant to bow before him, but the ant refused. The snake got very angry and attacked the ant with his tail. The ant immediately called for help. An army of ants marched toward the snake. All the ants bit every inch of the snake's body. The snake started screaming in pain and begged the ants for forgiveness. You all know the size of an ant. If a smallest ant can escape from a snake, it means we can solve any problem in life. 
Can you remember any incident that scared you so much? Did you overcome that situation? And how? If you have a brave story to share, please write to us in the comment box. We will read and share with our viewers. Share the video with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more moral videos. I am Lily, your friendly reader. Do you know the story of the cap seller and the monkeys? I know what you're thinking. The monkeys are way naughty and they took all the caps that are meant for selling. You are going to listen to a story of another naughty monkey in the forest. The characters in this story are monkey, deer, and an elephant. Long ago, in a forest, lived a naughty monkey. One day, when the monkey was resting on a rock, he saw a deer. The monkey picked up a stone and threw it at the deer. He cried in pain and ran away. The monkey continued his naughty tricks with all the animals in the forest. Soon they all got fed up with the monkey's bad behavior. One day, an elephant came to the forest. The elephant was very fat and his nose touched the ground. Everyone welcomed the elephant happily except the monkey. The monkey started to make fun of the elephant. The elephant got angry. The elephant grabbed the monkey by his tail and swung him around forcefully. Then elephant tossed monkey up into the air. The monkey landed in a nearby pond. The monkey felt ashamed and climbed up a tree. From that day on, he stopped doing naughty tricks to everyone. Have you heard this? For any bully, always there exists another bully. Do you like the naughty monkey? If yes, why do you like him? Construct a piece of naughty story with monkey as your main character. Use other characters as you desire. Use your own imagination with a different learning scenario for the monkey. Subscribe to our channel for more cool videos and share it with your friends. Dear children, I am Lily, your reader. I am giving you some clues. You have to find him. He is a soft and sweet farm animal and he lives in villages. People may use this as their pet. I had one at my home. Did you guess? No? Then I will give you another clue. The little ones are called kids. I know you must have found out by now. Yes, it is the story of a goat. Keep your eyes wide open as the story is coming. The characters in this story are fox and a goat. One day, a cunning fox fell into a ditch. The fox cried aloud, Help! Help! Soon, a goat came that way. Help me, please, said the fox. The goat bent his head and said, Hand on to my horns. The fox caught hold of the horns and came out of the ditch. But the ungrateful fox tried to catch the goat. The goat gave the fox a hard kick with his legs. The fox fell into the ditch again and it was never saved. A help at the right time has to be valued. Here, the fox didn't know the value of goat's help. So when somebody helps us, we should be grateful to them, including our parents. Do you say thank you? when they buy your favorite food in the restaurant or toys of your choice? If you haven't, run fast, go and say thank you, and you should continue doing the same. Lily is signing off, and I will come with another story soon. If you like this story, give thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Hi 
sugar buns. I am Lily, your reader. Are you ready to listen to a wonderful story? I know you are curious. Your eyes are as glittering as the eyes of this story's character. I am sure you are near the edge of your seat. Welcome to the world of Rabbit and the Fox. Once there lived a clever rabbit in a forest. One day the rabbit was walking toward a pond. He saw the reflection of the moon in the pond. Suddenly there came a fox and asked, What are you doing, rabbit? Look, fox, there was a lot of food down there, answered the rabbit. The fox looked in the water and said, I see it. What is it? There is a large cheese in the water. If we drink all of it, we can get the cheese, said the rabbit to the fox. The fox was so stupid that he did as the rabbit told him. Soon his stomach began to hurt, and the rabbit ran away as fast as he could. <laughs> I am sure you all laughed listening to this story. Did you understand that you should not believe everything that others say? Have your own opinion for yourself. It will save you from critical situations. Always have your thinking caps on. Suppose your friend asked you to talk with him during the classroom hours. Do you think it is okay to listen to him? Or do you think it is not good to disturb during the periods? What is your opinion? Share your opinion with us. Lily will read your thoughts. Let's see who is writing to me first. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos. Dear Nutty Carrots, I am Lily here. Wondering why I called you that way? Yes, our story is all about a carrot. What color is a carrot? What did you say? Is it blue? Oh no, I heard somebody say orange. Super, well done. And who likes carrots? Any clue? Little bunnies and rabbits. With no delay, here comes the story. The characters in this story are rabbit, squirrel, and a carrot. A rabbit and a squirrel were friends in a forest. One day, the rabbit found a big carrot near a bush. The rabbit became so greedy, he did not want to share it with the squirrel. Wow, I'll eat it all by myself, thought the rabbit. On the way, the rabbit had to cross a bridge. Suddenly, the carrot fell from the rabbit's paw and dropped into the river. Rabbit looked at the river in dismay. I lost my big carrot, cried the rabbit. I should have shared it with the squirrel, thought the rabbit. Bad thinking sometimes yields a poor result. Do you think the rabbit would have crossed the bridge if he had thought to share with the squirrel? No. Hey, I have a question. Do you like to eat carrots? They are really good for your eyes. Go and ask your mother for a lovely carrot and eat it raw. Try a carrot today and tell me how it tastes. Can you draw a picture of a carrot and send it to me? Lily would love to see all the carrots from all of you. Please send to me soon. Like the video and subscribe to our channel for more cool videos. Lovely children, I am Lily here, your reader. Are you excited for another story? I know you are never bored of stories. They make you think and evolve as creative listeners on the go. Have you heard of a phrase, slow and steady wins the race? Who are the characters in this story? Did you say the hare and the tortoise? Mr. Tortoise is our hero in this story. 
The characters in this story are tortoise, monkey, and a fox. One day, a tortoise and a monkey were walking through the forest. You are too slow, teased the monkey. See, I can climb the tree, but you are too slow and you can't save yourself, continued the monkey. Hearing those words, the tortoise felt very sad. Just then, they both saw a fox coming towards them. The monkey started to climb the tree. The frightened tortoise drew her head into her shell. The fox saw the shell. It seems empty, thought the fox, and he walked away. Then the monkey came down from the tree and said, Sorry for making fun of you, my friend. The tortoise nodded her head. The monkey and the tortoise became good friends. Have you ever touched the shell of a tortoise? Does it feel rough or smooth? Go to an animal park or zoo and find out. Also, observe the walking style and its eating habits. Write about them as observations and send to me. So, get set for a trial walk inside a forest. Lily would like to know more about tortoises from you. If you like this story, give thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Bye for now!